Second Ezra's chapter, Ezra's chapter 13, 13 verse 39. 39. And whereas thou sawest saw that he gathered another, another piece of the multitude unto him, unto him. those are the those ten are tribes the which were carried, carried away prisoner out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmaneser the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen, and go forth into a further country, where where never, never mankind, mankind dwelt, 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 that they that might they there might keep their, their statutes, which statues, they, never they never kept in their, their own land. 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 And they entered and they into Euphrates by, by the narrow, by the narrow places, places of the river, the river, the river for the Most the High then showed signs, signs for them, for them and held still the flood, the flood till they, pat, they were passed, they were passed, over. passed over. For through for that country, that country that there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Arsur. Those are the Those ten are tribes the ten which were carried away prisoner, prisoner out of prisoner, their own prisoner, land in the time of Hosea the king, the king, whom Salmaneser Salman the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them, and over, carried them over the waters, the waters and, so and so came they came into they another land. Before we go into where the ten tribes are scattered, let's go into why were there only ten tribes that were carried away captive, and not all the twelve tribes. First Kings chapter 11, verse 26 through 36. And Jeroboam the son of Nebat, an Ephrathite of Zerada, Solomon's servant, whose mother's name was Zeruah, a widow woman, even he lifted up his hand against the king. And this was the cause that he lifted up his hand against the king. Solomon built Milo and repaired the breaches of the city of David his father. And the man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valor, and Solomon seeing the young man that he was industrious. He made him ruler over all the charge of the house of Joseph. And it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Hajijah the Shilonite found him in the way and he had clad himself with a new garment and they too were alone in the field and Hajijah caught the new garment that was on him and rent it in 12 pieces. And he said, Jeroboam, take thee 10 pieces. For thus said Yahweh, the Allah of Yashra'ala, behold, I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give 10 tribes to you. But he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel because that they have forsaken me and have worshiped Asterish, the goddess of Zidonians, Kamosh, the god of Moabites, and Milcom, the god of the children of Ammon, and have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in mine eyes and to keep my statutes and my judgments as David his father. Howbeit, I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David, my servant's sake, whom I chose, because he kept my commandments and my statutes. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and will give it unto you, even ten tribes. And unto his son will I give one tribe that David, my servant, may have a light all way before me in Jerusalem the city which I have chosen me to put my name there. Verse 40 through 43. Solomon sought therefore to kill Jeroboam, and Jeroboam arose and fled into Egypt, unto Shishak king of Egypt, and was in Egypt until the death of Solomon. And the rest of the acts of Solomon, and all that he did, and his wisdom, are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon? And the time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years. And Solomon slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. 1 Kings chapter 12, verse 12 through 33. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam the third day. 
as the king had appointed, saying, Come to me the third day. And the king answered the people roughly and forsook the old men's counsel that they gave him and spake to them after the counsel of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, and I will add to your yoke. My father also chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. Wherefore the king hearkened not unto the people, for the cause was from Yahweh, that he might perform his saying, which Yahweh spake by Ahijah the Shalonite unto Jeroboam the son of Nebat. So when all Israel saw that the king hearkened not unto them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion have we in David? Neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse to your tents, O Israel. Now see to thine own house, David. So Israel departed unto their tents. But as for the children of Israel, which dwelt in the cities of Judah, Rehoboam reigned over them. Then King Rehoboam sent Adoram, who was over the tribute, and all children stoned him with stones that he died. Therefore Rehoboam made speed to get him up to his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel rebelled against the house of David until this day. And it came to pass when all Israel heard that Jeroboam was come again, that they sent and called him unto the congregation and made him king over all Israel. There was none that followed the house of David, but the tribe of Judah only. So Jeroboam will rule over 10 tribes and Solomon's son Rehoboam will rule over one tribe. But that equals 11. And when Jeroboam was come to Jerusalem, he assembled all the house of Judah with the tribe of Benjamin and hundred and fourscore thousand chosen men, which were warriors to fight against the house of Israel to bring the kingdom to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. Rehoboam was already over the tribe of Benjamin and now with Judah that makes two. But keep in mind the tribe of Levi had their own duties. So they were scattered throughout the land. But the word of Elohim came unto Shemaiah, the man of God, saying, Speak unto Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and, and unto all the house of Judah and Benjamin, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Thus said Yahweh, Ye shall not go up, nor fight against your brethren, the children of Israel. Return every man to his house, for this thing is from me. They hearken therefore to the word of Yahweh and returned to depart according to the word of Yahweh. Then Jeroboam built Shisham in Mount Ephraim and dwelt therein and went out from thence and built Peniel. And Jeroboam said in his heart, now shall the kingdom return to the house of David. If this people go up to the sacrifice in the house of Yahweh at Jerusalem, then shall the heart of this people turn again unto this Lord even unto Rehoboam king of Judah and they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam king of Judah whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold and said unto them it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem behold your gods O Israel which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt and he set the one in Bethel and the other put he in Dan and this thing became a sin, for the people went to worship before the one even unto Dan. And he made a house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month, on the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah. And he offered upon the altar. So did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made. And he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. So he offered upon the altar which he had made in Bethel the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised of his own heart, and ordained a feast unto the children of Israel. And he offered upon the altar and burnt incense. Therefore, as you see, Jeroboam was going off. Second Chronicles chapter 11 verse 5 through 12 and Rehoboam dwelt in Jerusalem and built cities for defense in Judah 
He built even Bethlehem and Etam and Tokyo and Bethruel and Bethzer and Choco and Adalon and Doth and Merasha and Ziph and Adarim and Lashash and Azekah and Zorah and Ajalon and Hebron which are in Judah and Benjamin fifth cities and he fortified the strongholds and put captains in them in store of victuals and of oil and wine and in every several city he put shields and spears and made them exceeding strong having Judah and Benjamin on his side like I said before these are the two tribes Rehoboam was over and the Levites resorted to him throughout the land as well Ecclesiasticus chapter 47 verse 21 through 25 so the kingdom was divided and out of Ephraim ruled a rebellious kingdom but Yahweh will never leave off his mercy neither shall any of his works perish neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect and the seed of him that loveth him he will not take away wherefore he gave a remnant unto Jacob and out of him a root unto David thus rested Solomon with his fathers and of his seed he left behind him Rehoboam even the foolishness of the people and one that had no understanding who turned away the people through his counsel there was also Jeroboam the son of Nebat who caused Israel to sin and show Ephraim the way of sin and their sins were multiplied exceedingly that they were driven out of the land for they sought out all wickedness till the vengeance came upon them Hosea chapter 1 verse 1 the word of Yahweh that came unto Hosea the son of Beeri in the days of Uzziah Jotham Ahaz and Ezekiah kings of Judah and in the days of Jeroboam the son of Joash king of Israel why were the ten tribes carried away into Assyria as captives chapter 4 verse 16 through 19 for Israel slided back as a backsliding heifer now Yahweh will feed them as a lamb in a large place Ephraim is joined to idols let him alone their drink is sour they have committed whoredom continually her rulers with shame do love give ye the wind hath bound her up in her wings and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices Hosea chapter 5 verse 3 through 13 I know Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me for now Ephraim you commit his whoredom and Israel is defiled the tribe of Ephraim went whoring after other gods and the remaining nine followed suit they will not frame their doings to turn unto their Allahim, for the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them and they have not known Yahweh and the pride of Israel doeth testify to his face therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in their iniquity Judah also shall fall with them they shall go with their flocks and with their herds to seek Yahweh but they shall not find him he hath withdrawn himself from them cry aloud at Bethaven after thee O Benjamin Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke among the tribes of Israel have I made known that which shall surely be the princes of Judah were like them that removed the bound therefore I will pour out my wrath upon them like water Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked after the commandment therefore will I be unto Ephraim as a moth and to the house of Judah as rottenness when Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound then went Ephraim to the Assyrian and sent to the king Jerob yet could he not heal you nor cure you of your wound the ten tribes were carried away captive into Assyria and the remaining two were carried away captive into Babylon. Hosea chapter 7 verse 1 through 11 
when I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered and the wickedness of Samaria. For they commit falsehood and the thief cometh in and the troop of robbers foiled without. And they considered not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their doings have beset them about. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness and the princes with their lies. They are adulterers as an oven heated by the baker who sees it from raising a after heat that kneaded the dough until it be leavened. And the day of our king, the princes have made him sick with bottles of wine. He stretched out his hand with the scorners for they have made ready their heart like an oven whilst they lie in wait. Their baker sleepeth all the night, and the morning it burneth as a flaming fire. They are all hot as an oven, and have devoured their judges, and all their kings are fallen. There is none among them that calleth unto me. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. Yea, gray hairs are here, and there upon him yet he knoweth not. And the pride of Israel testify to his face, and they do not return to Yahweh their Allahim, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. They call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. Hosea chapter 8 verse 1 through 14. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of Yahweh, because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. Israel shall cry unto me, My Allah, we know you. Israel hath cast off the thing that is good. The enemy shall pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princesses, and I knew it not, of their silver and of their gold have made them idols that they may be cut off. Your calf of Samaria hath cast you off. My anger is kindled against them. How long will it be ere they attain to innocency? For from Israel was it also, the workmen made it. Therefore, it is not God, but the calf of Samaria shall be broken in pieces. For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. It hath no stalk, the bud shall yield no meal. If so be it, yield. The strangers shall swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. For they are gone up to Assyria, a wild ass alone by himself. Ephraim hath higher lovers, yeah, Though they have higher among the nations, now will I gather them, and they shall sorrow a little for the burden of the king of princes. Because Ephraim have made many altars to sin, altars shall be unto him to sin. I have written to him the great things of my law, but they were counted as a strange thing. They sacrifice his flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings, and eat it, but Yahweh accept them not. Now will he remember their iniquity and visit their sins, they shall return to Egypt. For Yahshua Allah hath forgotten his maker and built it temples, and Judah hath multiplied fenced cities, but I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. First Chronicles chapter 5 verse 18 The sons of Reuben and the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword and to shoot with bow and skillful in war were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to the war verse 25 and 26 and they transgressed against Allahim of their fathers and with a whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom Allahim destroyed before them so let's see where did these tribes go. And Alahim of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgath-Panasseh, king of Assyria. And he carried them away 
even the Reubenites and the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh and brought them unto Hala and Harba and Hera and to the river Gosan unto this day. 2 Kings chapter 15 verse 27 through 29 In the two and fiftieth year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekah the son of Ramaliah began to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned twenty years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh. He departed not from the sins of Jer Jeroboam the son of Nebat who made Israel to sin. And the days of Pekah, king of Israel, came Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, and took Ajan, and Elbemaach, and Janoah, and Kadesh, and Hazar, and Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Assyria. Naphtali was part of the ten tribes that were carried into Assyria as well. Tobit chapter 1 verse 1 through 3 the book of the words of Tobit son of Tobiel the son of Ananiel the son of Aduel the son of Gabael of the seed of Asael of the tribe of Naphtali who in the time of Elmanasseh king of the Assyrians was led captive out of the Thisbe which is at the right hand of that city which is called properly Naphtali in Galilee above Asher. Asher was part of the ten tribes that was taken to. I Tobit have walked all the days of my life in the ways of truth and justice and I did many alms deeds to my brethren and my nation who came with me to Nineveh into the land of the Assyrians Nineveh was a capital city in Assyria. 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 1 through 12. And the twelfth year of Ahaz king of Judah began Hoshea the son of Elah to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh, but not as the kings of Israel that were before him. Against him came up Shalmaneser the king of Assyria and Hosea became his servant and gave him presents. And the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hosea, for he had sent messengers to so king of Egypt and brought no presents to the king of Assyria, as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and called Israel away in Assyria and placed them in Halah and in Harbor by the river of Gozan and in the cities of the Medes. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against Yahweh their Allah which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt and had feared other gods and walked in the statues of the heathen whom Yahweh cast out from before the children of Israel and of the kings of Israel which they had made. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against Yahweh their Allah and they built them high places in all their cities from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced cities. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen whom Yahweh carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke Yahweh to anger. And they served idols, whereof Yahweh hath said unto them, Ye shall not do this thing. Verse 23 Until Yahweh removed Israel out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria until this day. 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 9 through 12 And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Hezekiah, which was the seventh year of Hoshea, son of Elah, king of Israel, that Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, came up against Samaria and besieged it. 
And at the end of three years, they took it. Even in the sixth year of Hezekiah, that is the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, Samaria was taken. And the king of Assyria did carry away Israel unto Assyria and put them in Halah and in Harbor by the river of Gosan and in the cities of the Medes. Because they obey not the voice of Yahweh, their Allah, but transgress his covenant in all that Moses, the servant of Yahweh, commanded and would not hear them nor do them. I hope all were edified on why the children of Israel were split in half and why the northern kingdom, which consists of the ten tribes, were carried away captive into Assyria. With that, I want to give all praises to the Most High Allah. Yahweh Bahashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shalom.